to be able to exercise longer and actually to feel good doing it. You actually can make a doubling of your dips or believe it or not, a tripling or quadrupling or more of your pull-ups fairly straightforward. What you need to know is that these AVAs allow more heat to leave the body more quickly and more cool to enter the body more quickly than other venous arterial capillary beds throughout the body. In other words, you can heat up best at the face, the palms, and the bottoms of the feet, and you can cool down best at the face the palms and the bottoms of the feet than you can anywhere else on your body. And when I say heat up or cool down, I mean actually heat or cool the core and your brain. But you need to know that these three compartments of your body, palms, bottoms of feet, and face are your best leverage points for manipulating temperature to vastly improve physical performance. Cooling the palms, palmer cooling, allowed people athletes and recreational athletes to run much further, to lift more weight and to do more sets and reps to a absolutely staggering degree. Why we stop, why we shut off effort when we get too hot, because in doing so you'll really understand how and why the best protocols exist for being able to do more work, to be able to exercise longer and actually to feel good doing it. You actually can make a doubling of your dips or believe it or not, a tripling or quadrupling or more of your pull-ups fairly straightforward. When muscle heats up, enzymes start getting disrupted and ATP and muscles can't work so well and those muscles can't contract. Let's get a little more specific about that. The enzyme that's involved here is something called pyruvate kinase and pyruvate kinase is essentially a rate limiting step. It's a critical step that you can't bypass if you want muscles to contract and it's very temperature sensitive. Therefore, if you can keep temperature lower, you can do more work per unit time. You can do more pull-ups and that actually was done by Craig and his colleagues. What they essentially did is they brought someone into their laboratory who could do 10 pull-ups on the first set and they were able to get 10 rest two or three minutes, get another 10, rest two or three minutes. Now, the person might not necessarily feel like they're overheating, but the muscle is heating up. Then, with their knowledge that these AVAs, that these, that these portals in the palms are a great way to both heat the body, but also to dump heat from the body, they used a device where they had people hold on to what was essentially a cold tube. Now, this is crucial. The tube can't be so cold that it causes vasoconstriction because then the cold won't pass from the tube to the hand and to the core. But if it's the right temperature, it's neither too hot nor too cold, these so-called Palmer regions, and then cools the core. And in theory, by lowering body temperature would allow the person or the athlete to do more work. And indeed, that's what they saw. That subjects could do on their first day with no cooling, about a hundred pull-ups across the, the, the very, the time frame that they had. Okay. So it might've taken anywhere from 10 to 15 or maybe more sets, depending on how skilled that person was, but in a fixed amount of time, then they came back and did the cooling. They did it the very next day, which was they started cooling after every other set. The person would just hold the cold tube, cool down the body after every other set rest, everything else was kept the same. And they found that they went to 180 pull-ups, which is incredible. It's a near doubling. And by doing this repeatedly over several sessions, over several weeks, they quickly went in the cooling group from a maximum of somewhere between 180 and 200 to 600 pull-ups in the equivalent amount of time, which is absolutely incredible. They then repeated this in a study on the bench press And actually the bench press study was pretty interesting because they actually had a control group that was admittedly taking specific amounts of anabolic steroids. The anabolic steroid was testosterone cypionate, which is essentially testosterone. And indeed the testosterone cypionate, the steroid group improved at a rate of about 1% per week. Um, In other words, there were differences. 
And the cooling group basically left all other groups in the dust. It was just remarkable. So cooling the core, I want to be very clear that it's not cooling the muscle. It wasn't about cooling the chest alone or just cooling the palms. It was about allowing cold to pass through the palms because of the unique vasculature that's there, these AVAs allowed these subjects to do far more work per unit time. And the important thing is that if they were to come back after doing 600 pull-ups or 500 pull-ups, you might say, well, wow, that's going to create a, a situation where recovery is going to be absolutely impossible. They could come back, not use the cooling, and they still saw a highly significant increase in the amount or the number of pull-ups or dips or bench press weight that they could do. Okay. So what that meant is that it was both a excellent performance and an excellent training stimulus that they were able to recover from. Okay. I don't know if all of you are following this, but these are the sorts of increases in, in exercise output that are absolutely staggering. And that's why professional teams and the military and others capitalized on them very quickly and use these. 